This video demonstrates how to use cohorts to find and download image scans. Watch the video named Introduction to Cohorts to learn how cohorts are used in the IDA for searching and downloading data. In this example, we will search for subjects with MRI scans that have an inversion time of 2100 milliseconds. We start with a cohort of APOE4 subjects who are 65 years old or older. As there may be different inversion times for these scans, our goal is to limit the cohort to subjects who have scans with inversion times equal to 2100 milliseconds by adding another filter at the end of the filter chain. First, we will add a filter for inversion times equal to 2100 milliseconds. Choose the MRITI variable in the MRI images table under the images category. Click the Create a new filter button to view filter options. Choose the image filter option. Choose images with selected values of MRITI. And we want to add the filter after the existing cohort of APOE4 subjects who are 65 years old or older. Then click the Create New Filter button at the bottom. Select only the inversion time equal to 2100 milliseconds. As we can see, this reduces the number of scans in the cohort to 153 scans from 78 subjects in our cohort. Create the filter by clicking the Done button at the bottom. A new filter has been added, and we have created a cohort of APOE4 subjects who are 65 years old or older and have MRI scans with an inversion time equal to 2100 milliseconds. Next, let's use our new cohort to download the MRI scans. In the download section, navigate to Images and choose the name of the cohort from the menu. Note that the download table only contains modalities specified by the filters that define the cohort for your subjects. A CSV manifest of the images in this cohort is also available. If the zip file of the image scans is large, it can be divided into smaller zip files that can be downloaded at the same time. After you click a download link, the download will automatically start in your browser. You can monitor the download progress in the browser's downloads panel. For further information, watch our other instructional videos.